Hey guys, welcome to HP Model Show. Um, didn't do an intro in my car as I normally do, I forgot, so uh, we're doing one now. I'm actually halfway through the show, I've just uh, nipped outside for a second, but yeah, well, let's go have a look around Hinkley Model Show. Welcome to Hinkley Model Show 2020, and what a lovely show it was. I'm going to take you around every club, hopefully, as normal, and we'll show you a couple of vendors at the end. We're starting off with the East Midlands Model Club the host of today's show and what a spectacular display this was you can see Morph just hiding in the middle there this was a mainly military display but there was a lot of uh, little pops of color that you can see darted around the display which was really nice I always like when there's something to break up sometimes what can be quite overwhelmingly military displays but modeling is quite often about military so it's not common to see displays just crammed full of it and this display had a lot of character to it and was absolutely wonderful the soviet aero sun is like a uh, propeller driven ski vehicle which i thought was wonderful and this world war one diorama i just thought looked really realistic Morph here giving a hug for those who remember smart <laughs> And we have uh, Boba Fett in, well, a case, but looking lovely. We have this E6B as well, which I, I love the canopy on this particularly. But now over to SIG 144, so everything is 1 144 scale. And uh, I love this display every time I see it, I always love it. Can't remember what I've taken pictures of now, <laughs> so it's always a bit of a challenge to see if I'm taking a picture of something I already liked or if it's something new but I try and show something new each time I go to these shows but you really have to go yourself to see it all you know up close and personal I love this lot of air, air display sort of you know diorama and the figures on these are absolutely astounding it's it's remarkable I mean look at the Star Wars diorama it's incredible how they can get the color into such minute miniature little soldiers Honestly, I don't think I could do it. And I, these little dioramas just melt my heart. I want these just darted around my house. I mean, look at this lovely little market setting. Ugh, I want them everywhere. Oh, and the wooden ones as well, I thought just looked great. I'm assuming a lot of them are probably like this for scratch building. But yeah, that's the overall display. I, I, wonderful display. They, that SIG is one of my favorite. I'd never do it because it's too small, but I love it. We're now over to Sutton Coalfield. And uh, a couple of these models we've seen before, so that Groffa 229 we've seen before. I think we've seen the uh, Kano playing before as well. So I knew there were a couple of things I didn't want to focus too much on, but it was a really lovely display. Again, a lot of figures. I love seeing figures. And I got the Okano playing because, I mean, even if we've seen it before, we can see it again, right? This Canadian mount here I thought it looked really cool, really unique as well. This windmill, I think I've shown before, but I just wanted to show it again. again. Just showing that you can just build anything. It doesn't have to be military, you know? So after that, we go over to ASVC MAFVA Wombourne. Probably the longest model club name we're going to see today. Now, tanks are not my strong point, as we all know. They are not my forte, but there was still a lot here that I really enjoyed, particularly the colourful little displays. There's a lot shared here with Model for Heroes. I wasn't sure where the divining line was, to be perfectly honest. So I apologize if I've perhaps not got everything from each display or if I've mixed them up a little bit. So this Hanley Page um, Hayford is just a gorgeous model. And this Gigorovich, <laughs> sorry if I said the wrong, M5. And this little heavy Chevy looks fantastic with its flames and this Blackburn Blackburn I don't think I've ever seen this play before a crazy looking thing and this beautiful little train carrying logs or twigs and these uh are, are they like bears driving tanks <laughs> hello and then we have models for heroes um I spoke to these guys for quite a long time absolutely lovely lovely group of people if you get a chance to see them you know, it's a lovely cause and there's always something different on there and it was really nice to speak to um, them for so long. What we're about to see next though, I can see being my big addiction. So thank you Models for Heroes for getting me in this rabbit hole that I'm never going to escape from. But these give me major Sylvanian families vibes and I think they're absolutely adorable. I think they're just like tin kits, they come complete and you just make them and they look adorable. And yeah, I've already ordered a couple, so <laughs> I'll definitely be doing those at some point. 
let's head on over to Leicester Modelers now, shall we? And uh, again, a couple of things that I've seen on here before, and hello, the rotating helicopter. We love some motion on displays. So I tried to take pictures of things that we've not seen up close and personal before. I can't quite remember though. <laughs> so again, apologies if there's any repeats, but Leicester's display is just so wildly varied. Um, absolutely beautiful display. Really, really well done. Everything looked polished and performed. Um, the Ukrainian dioramas are all based on sort of news um, reports or video footage that came out during the course of the invasion of Ukraine. And uh, there's a sort of Korean um, tribute there as well, which is similar. Now, you're getting some close-ups of this because look at all those shells. They're 3D printed um, additions to the model kit that someone did. And there's some like cigarette butts and they've also got cigarette packs to add soon as well. So it just looks so much more alive, doesn't it? Look how fantastic it looks. I Honestly, the detail, it takes weathering to a whole new level when you have so much additional detail in there. It's honestly astounding. We've got these Imperial Japanese Navy uh, vessels here and the search and rescue helicopter that we saw spinning around a moment ago. And here's that Korean tribute that I mentioned earlier again, based on famous photographs from the time. So you can really see their presence brought to life in miniature. We're now over to North Riding. And again, a lovely little display here. I love the Japanese ship in the middle that we'll get a close up of shortly. The hawk at the bottom as well, again, really unusual, really stylish. And this sort of, I guess, gorilla warriors in front of a Buddha statue. And a, look, a triplane, which just looks amazing. And the weathering on it looks fantastic. Here's a close up of a hawk we mentioned earlier. Again, I just think it looks beautiful. And this ship, look at the vibrating little planes. That's literally just from someone tapping the table, by the way, when I was next to it. So it shows how fragile they are, but they look amazing, don't they? Now over to Mercia, and they had the V-bombers on display here, so that was really front and centre and what caught my eye, and I guess probably would catch most people's eyes, to be honest. The Vulcan, the Valiant, and the Victor. Uh, not in historical order, obviously that would have been the Valiant, then the Vulcan, then the Victor. Victor still being my favourite, of course. Got a couple of things of the era as well, so a Nats, an F-104, a Lightning, alongside some training aircraft as well. The Valiant here in its beautiful anti-flash colours, um, which just looks so neat. The Vulcan here, uh, I guess a B2 in the camouflage, and a Victor here, ready for refueling. And this what is weathered beautifully as well. I think this is a Bolton Pool trainer, but if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, because I can't quite remember. We're now over to Rutland, however, you can see Postman Pat in the corner. If you haven't looked at my previous um, show from St. Ives, that was one of my favourite things off here. But we've got a different favourite today. You may or may not have already seen it. We'll talk about that in a moment. But again, a really fantastic display, really varied. Everything on here from Bloodhound missiles to stormtroopers that are Postman Pat, which again <laughs> was the last one. But this one, this AA service, but... I, I don't think it's intentional. I think he's meant to be talking on the radio, but he just gives me major, like, Slay Queen vibes. Like, oh my God, I love it. As to say, this blood time missile. I took a picture of it, because last time I didn't, and I don't think they get enough credit. So I thought, hey, let's take a picture of a missile for one, shall we? I don't know what this is from. It's just adorable. So I grabbed a picture of it. <laughs> We're now over to Carpentry and Warwickshire. So this is just across the way from that one. And again, another fantastically varied display. I don't know how many times I've heard that. I'm so happy that the modeling community is getting so much more varied. It's not just sea of military aircraft or military tanks, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing that as your passion, but it's nice to see that we're sort of embracing the diversity within the modeling community, which I really, really enjoy and love. Now, the first thing we're looking at is these Roman legionnaires, and it's just so bloody and brutal. So then got these military responders who've knocked over this uh, woman. And this AN-72, which is just such a unique and fabulous looking aircraft. So lovely to see that. Got some Gundam again. Again, I know nothing about Gundam, so apologies. And a Colonial Viper from Battlestar Galactica. For some reason, this um, Avril Lancaster of the Egyptian Air Force is just before the rest of the display. But here we have the Airfix, everything and anything Airfix. 
Brita Leather is an Egyptian Lancaster. They a really unique take on their Lancaster, and I didn't even know they had them in service. So that that's actually really fascinating for me. So again, you learn something every day at these shows. Oh, we're seeing it again. <laughs> I do apologize. Too late for me to be re-editing it now. This beautiful looking Citroen just looks amazing. I don't know why I caught my eye so much. An Israeli bow fighter, I think we've seen before though. So apologies, that's a repeat. Here we've got Warwickshire MAFVA, um, or I've also written this down as Warwickshire Armour Modelers. So apologies if I've got the wrong name there in either instance. Again, thanks aren't really my thing, but I really love this diorama for T35. So comrade, keep the dogs away from the tank. And this, I'm assuming, Minesweeper. That's got to be what that says. And a Tiger H.O. as well from 1944. Just rounding it off. A really lovely little display. We're now over to Milton Keynes. Obviously, we've uh, been to their show earlier in the course of the year. And another fantastic show. I, I still love that iceberg <laughs> lattice from Titanic. It's beautiful. But again, I've tried to take pictures of things I don't think I've highlighted before. This stand is of such high quality that you can take a picture of anything. So I've got this female rebel pilot from uh, Fictional Star Wars. There's one more level. I'm not sure if this is from something, but it definitely looks like me in a late night gaming session, honestly. And what I think is an LA5 or LA7 following this BF109 over icebergs and this tribute to Asterix and Obelix, uh, but female. The next thing you're about to hear is a bit loud after these cars, so it's uh, animators just take a look. Following that, we've got what I'm describing as like a, a scene from a film where it's like they finally get love's true kiss. And we've got this uh, gannet as well with folded wings, but it looks like it's going, I don't know. And then Schmeagol as well from Lord of the Rings. And the next thing we're seeing after this car, it looks like it's from the like board game Gaslands. So like Mad Max. And yeah, it just looks really, really cool. <laughs> Snoopy the alien. This is like heart wrenching. And now we're heading over to Wakefield with this red spread they have out for us today and again really nicely spaced out this play but it felt really really pretty everything was really bright and colorful and popped against the red a couple of aircraft really took my fancy this mosquito is amazing by the way along with this p51 and spitfire all with like the deconstructed or repairing look going on there this is the etrich tauber which I, this is a gorgeous pre-order one aircraft also got this MiG-7, I think it is, which again, I just think looks amazing. And we're starting to see a lot more drones at model shows, which I'm not sure how I feel about. And this Fokker 27 friendship, or the military variant would be the troop ship. The Mosquito, a little close up as well there for yeah. So following on from Wakefield, we have Stoke-on-Trent Model Club. We, uh, we went to their show earlier in the year as well, which is a really fantastic show. And you can see they've got that display for next year as well. Uh, so make sure you attend their show next year. Now, a couple of things on here we have seen before in terms of me taking closer pictures of, but I think a couple of things I'm also just going to show you again because, um, well, I just really like them, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, I apologise for the repeats on this one because we've definitely seen the Fligvart and Spitfire before, but it just looks awesome. Death Star as well, just looks really clean, doesn't it? Menacing, really, really, really menacing. Following on from that then, we have a uh, AA gun being towed around by a half track and the Pop Memorial, which ever important to display. And this is their show details if you do want to go to their show next year, by the way. I didn't see too many posters around though um, for next year, but we are quite early to be advertising for next year, but Stoker, are well on it, apparently. Following on from there, we have Middleton Cheney. Uh, again, hopefully I've said your uh, club name right. A lot of figures on display on this one, but I thought this display was really well set out. It didn't feel like there was too much on there. Everything had its own space and position, and everything was really colorful and vibrant. I loved it. I, I love seeing the figures. So we've got Henry VIII here, obviously, looking quite imposing. James Wan finding odd job. 
which uh, apparently was an Affix figure, I think it said it was. Got Joan of Arc here, uh, sorry, Joan of Arc, I should say. And an Equestrian Rider. Um, I think the horse looks really animated in this shot. And then we've got Queen Elizabeth. So yeah, a really, really lovely display. Thank you for showing that to us. After this then we're over to IPMS Leicestershire. Um, I didn't write this down properly, so <laughs> I'm glad I put the distinction in there between Leicester and Leicestershire. Now this display is quite similar to what we saw at St. Ives, I'll be really honest, but I mean, again, that's to be expected, like, you know, girl, like, you can't do that many models, so I completely understand it, but I'm glad they swapped up what was on each side. So here we have an Australian F111, beautiful aircraft, and this English electric P10 projected Mark Three fighter. Got some railway locomotives as well, which I did get some pictures of, along with these vessels that just look stunning, honestly. We're over to IPMS Cleveland now, and uh, probably the, one of the heaviest sci-fi ones I think um, on, on display today. I was a bit surprised there was so little Star Trek um, throughout the whole show, because normally that's quite a lot on display, or a fair amount, I should say. There wasn't anywhere near as much today, which is quite, quite a shame. But, you know, it's nice to have variety, I guess. So I can't complain at that and I get to see it too many shows anyway. So um, the, the Sterling display, by the way, amazing. Um, if there was a best in display, um, this would probably be it just because it looks so real and animated. Even the Spitfire one, which is so much less on it, but still looks really, really realistic. Honestly, these displays and dioramas, guys, keep doing them. They're amazing. We've now got Sheffield Model Group and Sheffield Model Group's display was really, really cool. A couple of things absolutely stood out and they are on the very end. So you'll see those shortly when I take a picture of them. Um, but this is row 57. I've got a kit of this as well, thanks to Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. And this Bolton Pool Night Fighter. I just, I love the pilot system next to it. Like they feel like you just come back from the source here and they're chatting about what's happened or maybe talking about the store they're going out on. Maybe wondering if they'll come back. This Learjet though, finish, gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 love it. So following on from Sheffield, we have, I think it's pronounced Belvoir, I'm, or Belvoir, I'm not sure. They have a Beaver as a logo. Um, but yeah, all of these played the VC-10 and the Tricer at the back because if um, my dad was uh, someone who worked on them, I just, Love them. I thought they looked stunning. I think I've taken a picture of these before, to be honest, but I don't care. I think they look amazing together. And these tiny 114, uh, sorry, 144 scale Eurofighters. Lightning just ugh, always looks stunning. Yeah, really fantastic job on those guys. We're now over to 580 modelers. There was someone in the corner who didn't quite get everything in here with the video, so I do apologize. But again, another really fantastic spread, quite varied. I like that they don't just go for sort of the common nations you'd expect, or even common aircraft, like with this uh, HE, is it, uh, I think it's 177, the Grief. Vigan, again, looking stunning. There's Douglas at the end as well, which I don't, I don't think you see many of them built. We've got an Iranian Tomcat. I always forget around how these, what a wild time. We've got this F-104, which is in, I think, is it Pakistani? And then we've got this, uh, a kind called HE-177 Grief. And this Douglas RB-66, which I, I think that's such a graceful aircraft, honestly. Now over to IPMS Gloucester. Gloucester was one that we saw as well at uh, Boscombe Downs uh, model show. So, a few things on here I did recognise. One thing I am showing you is a repeat because I just think it's so outstanding that it <laughs> needs to be shown again, to be perfectly honest with you. I thought this was really interesting. A take on the Ukrainian was showing people taking pictures in front of the burnt out Russian tanks. I've got a HMS Snowberry here. HMCS, sorry, Snowberry. And a X 47, another drone, you know. So, these are space marines that are all. Uh, converted with 3D printed parts to look like Gundam. And then at the back of their display, they had the Gundam on display as well. So that was really cool. I think they could have maybe integrated them to be together more though. I think that would have looked really, really cool. And now over to the Cotswolds um, Modeling Club. And 
they particularly wanted one of theirs to be taken a picture of and I was more than happy to oblige which is not staggering that you're gonna see uh, which I've always thought is just such a wacky wild little airplane uh, I did find this P-59 though the first American jet I just think it looked really graceful and here we have the staggering Beach 17 what, what a wild aircraft <laughs> and followed up by a beautiful example of a spad so yeah that was really cool we're now heading over to the Universal uh, model group and again, and living at their name, having absolutely everything encompassed on their table. I love the little cloud plane. I've taken a picture of that a couple of times though, so I'm not going to show you that in the video today. Uh, I'm pretty sure I showed it in the Milton Keynes one or it might have been the IPMS Avon one. I uh, love the shell car, again don't know what the car is, it's a forward of some description but I just love the livery on it and also this one with the Michelin man on top, I just thought it looked really cool, I love blue and yellow colours. <laughs> you got this 3D printed stormtrooper with a skull inside, looks really menacing and Spider-Man with a giant spider which I can't tell if, if it's comical or terrifying and this stormtrooper for scale with the ATSD. My days, this looks really cool with the destroy building, honestly it looks so so good. And then following on from that we have this Christmas truce from 1940 which honestly I, it's quite a lot to deal with. And then we've got this alien scene as well. We're now on to the racing lines and uh, I think I saw these again as, uh, at the St. Ives show and as the club themselves said you can't deny that they have the most colourful display at the show and they're probably not wrong or at least not far off they do have one of the most vibrant and out there and to be honest i think their overall display just looks phenomenal this was really cool as well having like an actual like f1 starting line there this itself is a porsche 917 le mans from 1971 and this is a 4gt wins um livery um, this is a Suzuki GTX RR215. Yeah, guys, I nailed it. I actually got what all of them were, except these two, which I'm assuming is some sort of Renault F1 and some sort of other um, car. <laughs> guys, I got most of them, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> so we're now over to Brampton. Now, I couldn't tell if these were two tables of Bramptons, so that's how I'm doing it. I think the black and the grey table are both Bramptons, I'm not sure, so if I have missed out a club and just amalgamated you together, I'm sorry, please just let me know. But hopefully I've got it right anyway. <laughs> the next airport I'm going to see, I couldn't work out actually in the picture if it's a Fiat G55 or an MC205, I think it's a G55 because the wing doesn't look completely flat. This is a Swedish BF109 which just looks surreal and I think this is a, is this a Defiant, but Polish, which is followed on by this H368, which is a Hungarian light tank. So that was really cool to see as well. So again, I think this is still Brampton. Both the people behind wearing Brampton hoodies, so hopefully they are. If not, please let me know in the comments below which club you are, and I'll, uh, well, I can't fix the video, but at least we'll know. We've got a Miskiri 2, which is a Finnish uh, fighter, and the Svenska Aero SK by plane. After that we're on to the South Atlantic Significant Interest Group or SIG and again another one that we see at almost every show a lovely sea focused affair and um, yeah I really I really love seeing this it was probably the, one of the first clubs that I really remember having boats in uh, when I started getting back into modeling and it made me realize how amazing water can look so I'm always astounded by this group and how they just continue to show absolutely beautiful displays. We're now on to the Great War SIG, again, <laughs> unsurprisingly focusing on the Great War, but also showing a lot of things that you might not have known about, like that seaplane there, just, and uh, in fact, I think there were about three things on here I just have no idea of, and I view myself as quite educated when it comes to sort of um, uh, aviation, like the short bomber, I'm sure I probably have heard of this at some point, but just amazing. And this uh, Type R, just amazing. These French infantry though, kind of horrifying, but like, you know, it's World War One, it's never gonna be nice. And a Blackburn kangaroo, again, I think it's something I've heard of, but never seen, it looks amazing. 
we're now over to the Japanese aviation seg and again love seeing this because indigenous aircraft are always more interesting than just seeing say like a million i don't know f-16s f-18s or whatever like although i love seeing them and they can be done in really cool schemes <laughs> and for example like this fiat br20 in japanese there's nothing like seeing original designs like this kawasaki helicopter it's just i don't know i love seeing indigenous aircraft and i think that's one of the things six always help bring out now over to Finland and Spalding, and again a really colourful display. The black really helps everything pop, and that Harrier, by the way, is one of the best painted aircraft I think I've seen at the show today. It was astounding. And clearly, someone has a meteor obsession in the Finland and Spalding Club. This uh, hot rod, I'm assuming from like the 50s, and we've got I think a dragoon uh, repeat. And let's say this Harrier, or Sea Harrier, just looks absolutely gorgeous. And now over to Race Road and Custom Bike Shed. And uh, I ended up somehow not really taking pictures of any of the bikes, which is a bit embarrassing, I'll be honest. But it's with good reason, because they had a couple of things from Star Wars that just really, really took my eye. And uh, yeah, so you can see the Stormtrooper Rider here. Um, I just thought this looked really cool, and Darth Maul, how can you say no to Darth Maul guys? Like, hello, iconic, and Nikola Tesla, the forgotten genius, I thought this was a really cool tribute as well. Now moving on to the Danish sig, I've seen these at a couple of shows, I'm not sure where they're like mainly located, but it seems to be sort of Midlandsy where I've seen them uh, sort of pop up, and that hunter, we'll get on to in a minute. The F-16 again, iconic, Danish flag, have to get a picture of it every single time I see the Danish sig. But this Hunter, it doesn't do it justice in the photos at all, but the weathering on it, my god, the weathering on it was absolutely fantastic. And we've got a uh, Saab Draken, I think the Danish ones always looked absolutely beautiful. We're now over to Film Fangs, you know, fans but with fangs. I love the pun of the name, awesome. A uh, wonderful display, lots of different sort of movie franchises all on display here. Um, Ghostbusters obviously dominating the top, but we've got The Labyrinth with uh, David Bowie. And it's coming up to Christmas, we've got The Cringe. I love it, looks so cool. Now over to the Night Fighter Sig. I'm getting towards the end of the show here, but don't worry, there's still a bit more to come at the end. So yeah, the Night Fighter Sig again. Um, not one that's going to vary massively, but lovely seg, love seeing this F2H Banshee, not an aircraft you see very co commonly, and the Night Fighter Meteor just looks so menacing. And then after that we've got, uh, I think it's P2, I think there was a P3 variant, I'm not sure, but P2, P3. Following on then, we've got uh, the Shropshire scale modelers, and they did have a sign on there saying, unfortunately there's not going to be a show at Cosford again in 2023 due to refurbishment, so we completely understand that, and we hope you get a show soon, because it's really nice having them at the Cosford Museum. And there's a, sort of a VTOL theme at the end of the table, which I thought was really cool, and we'll get a close-up of a couple of those, like this uh, FWER VJ 101C, which was a German design, and the Echo 141 Freestyle, which was designed to be an actual supersonic VTOL aircraft that did actually fly. We've got Death of a Dream, depicting the TSR2 in its sort of scrappage stage, which is always very sad to see. One, two, Spruce and stuff then, our penultimate display for uh, Hinkley, and Again, a really lovely display. I, I know a lot of these are from Marcus, so, um, you know, they can't all change every single show, but I will try and show different things each time, make sure I'm trying not to show the same things, but sometimes I just end up doing it, so I apologise. There's like this wheel of tanks, um, I think this is really cool, but I'll be honest with you, I, I can name the countries a lot of them come from, um, but I think that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> My knowledge pretty much comes from War Thunder, I'll be honest. We've got this um, M3460 for Poland and a pair of Indian mix. I, I love the Indian mix, they look awesome. I know Marcus makes them because he's seen them in person. And uh, we've got a train here, and I know there's a couple more of them coming from Marcus as well. And a 1350 scale Royal Navy HMS Cornwall. We're now on to our final display, which is Newark. 
Newick has this, uh, a couple of things on there which are all sort of on magazines or blueprints. I, I really like that display, so I hope they sort of transfer that over to some of their other um, models because I really think it adds to their basing and just looks so different and unique compared to them. Uh, we did get this Tomahawk Mark II though, it had this uh, writing next to it so I put that up there for you. And this is what I mean, this M4 Sherman with the blueprint underneath, I just think it looks really different, really cool. So we're looking at some of the traders now, lovely to see the local shop being supported here. And this was, uh, I think it was Aero Modeler's book, I bought several things from them and oh my god they're so lovely. We've also got FR models here which are all 3D printed, I bought their uh, Beagle B121 which you just heard me on, <laughs> it's been the box over of, but I just tried to get some of the vendors in here, someone suggested, I think it was from um, Leicester model stand, and um, they said yeah why don't you try and get some of the traders in, show them off, and I thought I'd go around, I, I, I'll i be honest, I, I've not done that before, so I felt very weird just filming stores, and as a result of that the footage is not fantastic, you cannot see who half of them are, and I don't know who some of them are. <laughs> so I do greatly apologize if I'm showing you your shop and uh, not, not crediting you fully, um, but let us know in the comments if you know which ones are there, because uh, that, that's entirely my error, but there was such a massive variety on there. Some of them are like this, I just sort of stood to the side and tried to take pictures, like this is red fire. This is modelsforsale.com, again, always fantastic value here. I've got a Frecce Tricolori set from there. Got this red zebra here and then, uh, what's like an airbrush shop here behind which I should have got a compressor from but I didn't. Evasion Antiques, they, this is towards the end of the day so they were sort of wrapping up. So yeah that was it, that's a Hinkley model show for you guys then. Thank you so much for joining me and going around the show. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and well I guess the next model show is going to be Telford so I can't wait to see you there. Bye! Thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of every new video on Mondays. You'll also be able to see me stream live on YouTube. Thanks again, I really appreciate it. Have fun modelling!